Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Whitney and this is Witchray Beauty and I am so excited because today we're going to be testing out a new brand, testing out some stuff from Danessa Myricks. Oh my goodness. First of all, I'm just going to like a little sneak peek. Check out this packaging. It is so stunning. Well, so it's not going to focus. We're going to be testing out some stuff from Danessa Myricks. We're going to be testing out the new twin flame she has and some in light highlighters so if you want to see how we created this look and what is going on with my eyes just keep on watching and don't forget before you leave today to click that subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have tested anything from this brand and what are your thoughts and we will jump right in Okay, so I am so freaking excited. I know that I say this every time, but I have not been this excited about playing with a makeup item in forever. So I have five of the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames. I swatched these and unboxed them on my TikTok and holy crap they're freaking insane so we are going to play with these today and swatch them and i also got the enlighten by danessa myricks this is a it says enlighten halo powder in the shade angel wings i really like her packaging it's just really sleek and i will swatch this for you guys first also i finally got my hair done so you don't have to stare at all of my roots anymore it is fixed this is the first step of fixing it and the first step of actually going blonde which I'm super excited so I finally found somebody here that is gonna be able to do it and not destroy my hair so this is what that looks like and it's very very like glitter shimmery it is very it's hard to pick up it's an interesting it's an interesting um formula honestly I guess I expected it to be like super super blinding highlight but I don't really get that vibe from it I get more of like subtle pretty glow from it if you can see that it's very shimmery so we are going to use that today as well but we have to talk about these twin flames okay so I got the shade adore you wait until you see this packaging like even the packaging is so good so this is what the packaging looks like and it is just so freaking stunning and just swatch it on my hand there so this is the shade adore you and this one is the hardest to pick up like I can pick it up in the container but when I actually swatch it on my hand it is very hard to pick up on camera the shift in it but you can see it in the tube and you can see it in person but you cannot see it on camera it drives me insane and then we have obsession which I think this one is my favorite one. So this one, and this is for the face and the eyes, so you can use these as highlighters, which, oh my god, would be amazing. So this is Obsession, and it's like a green, blue, like copper shift, and it's stunning. So there we have Obsession. I guess they're all going to be a little bit hard to pick up on camera. I hate that. And then we have Crazy For You, which is also beautiful. And I kind of just did like a neutral-ish eye because I don't know what I want to play with today. So I figured all of these would pretty much go with this eye. Crazy For You is so beautiful.
and that is it swatch and then we have a more which oh my gosh stunning they're all stunning I'm gonna buy the other five as well because I just can't get over how pretty these are so I just need to own them all oh my god I keep I'm like oh maybe maybe this one's my favorite that's right there and oh my god the camera isn't even doing it justice it is so beautiful and then finally I have the shade soulmate which looks like this in the packaging I think soulmate topped with a little bit of more would be stunning so and that is that one right there so that is the five twin flames and then the enlighten enlight powder which is I don't know it's interesting it's right here so I have this eye done I'm going to do this whole eye on camera so you guys can see what I did. Let me zoom us in a little bit. But I have this eye done already and then I just have my crease cut out. And then I want to put one or two of these where I've cut that crease at. And I kind of have like a like circular shape done. So I don't know which one I want to use. They're all so freaking pretty. We're going to go in with Soulmate first. And I'm going to show you guys the wand, which looks like this. It's just a flat wand. And then it picks up a lot of product, so I just go ahead and kind of wipe off any of the excess product on the, on the top there. And then I'm just going to go straight in because these are mine. I'm not going to use them on anybody else. Oh my god, these are so freaking pretty. And I'm just picking up more when I need it right off of the side. You know what, I'm going to switch. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, just a little glob of it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe M412, just a flat brush. So this is not working because I cut out my crease with P. Louise and it is just mixing and just gooping up disgustingly so I am going to cut this crease out with a makeup wipe really quick and then we'll be back and we will try to reel okay so I attempted to fix this it does not look as good as it but I didn't want to be here all day on an eye look that I already spent so much time on so it's fine we are going to try again and we're gonna go in with soulmate and I'm just gonna go right in with a brush that same brush that we were using before so much better so I would not use a base underneath these because it doesn't not work so if you're gonna go in with them I would clean up your base with some micellar water and a q-tip or whatever you need to clean it up with and then I would go in straight on bare skin with the 
twin flames. I'm going to clean off my P. Louise brush. So I can go in. These are very opaque. So you can really cut the crease just with these. So that is what I am going to do. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my P. Louise brush. This is the one I usually cut my crease with. And I'm going to go in with some of the Soulmate shade. And I'm literally just going to use this to completely cut that crease where we had it cut. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking pretty. with this completely I was nervous for a minute because I was like I just messed up this whole thing and now it's gonna look like crap and I'm just I was over it for a minute I'm not gonna lie I was just like maybe I'll just film this later because I'm just over it but no I'm glad I kept going because holy crap it is so freaking pretty it goes really good with this look I wanted to do something just kind of like neutral that would I could pick any of them and this look really worked out so we are gonna go ahead and start on this eye I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole eye on camera so you guys can see exactly what I worked with so I am gonna go in with a little bit of the P Louise blank canvas and just tap that on my eye as you can tell I still haven't fixed any of my nails because at this point I'm just I'm just over it <laughs> I'm going to fix them tonight. And then I am going to go in with the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette. If you have not seen my review on this, I will have it linked in the description for you guys. And this palette is so freaking stunning. I'm going to start by going in with the Yab right here, which is the light pink. And I'm just going to run that on the outer corner and then into the crease. Now I am going to go in to the orange shade Wasted right here. And I'm going to drag that in to the crease. And most of the shade gets covered up, but it was a really good shade to help the brown that we're going to use blend out. And this is the LBE3 from Lunar Beauty. These Lunar Beauty brushes are so freaking good. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush, the M573, and a little bit of the Yab light pink and I'm just going to use that to really diffuse all of those colors together. Just like that and then I'm going to go in with a Morphe 456 and I'm going to go in with ASAP which is this really pretty brown right here. And I'm going to start that on the outer corner because that's where I want the most of the color. And this is such a pretty shade. You can really use it really lightly where you can build it up and it has such a nice undertone. I love it. And we are just tapping that on. And since we are not going to be able to cut that crease out, 
I really want to make sure I'm taking my time to create that shape and kind of keep that shape clean because I'm not going to go in and cut that out at all. And then I'm just gonna drag it into the crease. And then I'm going to go in with that fluffy brush again and a little bit of wasted, which is the orange. And I'm going to use that to help blend out that dark shade. And then I'm going to go back in with the Lunar Beauty Brush and I'm going to go in with that orange and I'm just going to really run that along those edges and make sure it is nice and diffused. You don't want any harsh lines. And then in with the dark shade and a little bit of lit, which is just a like, like a light cream shade right here. And I'm going in mostly with the lit shade, but I want just a little bit of the ASAP to be on it too, because it's going to help blend out those edges. Okay, and then one more time with the M473, and I'm going to go in with Yab. I'm just making sure that is nice and diffused. And then one more time with the 456 going in with ASAP and I'm just going to pull that along the lower lash line just a little bit. Just like that. And then I'm trying to debate if I want to clean this up a little bit with <laughs> this but I find that very hard to get precise with a makeup wipe so I'll try to get it off as much as I can I'm just wrapping it around my fingernail and I'm just kind of scraping off that excess product we don't have to be too precise and too clean because it was very easy to cut the crease with the twin flames because they're very opaque still. And then I'm just going in with my finger and making sure there's no excess product from the makeup wipe and then 
I'm just going to go in with a really small brush. This is the, four, the M431. And I'm going to go in with ASAP. And I'm just going to create that shape that we want. Okay. Then again, we are going to go in with Soulmate. I'm going to clean off my hand for the most part. There's some excess glitter. So I'm just going to pop some of that on the back of my hand. Oh my God. You can't even see how stunning this shade is. And again, I'm going to go in with my P. Louise brush. This is the best brush ever for cutting the crease. It just gets so small and thin and it's just so good. The purple shift in this, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it really, really makes this look look so pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna go in one more time with ASAP on this eye and just clean up that shape now that we have it down. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking pretty. I am going to finish up the rest of my face because I am testing out a new foundation today. So fingers crossed. And then we will be back when my face and my eyes are done. And we will pop some shimmer in the inner corner and play with some highlight. Okay, so we are back. I got the foundation on, most of the base finished up. So I wanted to pop the Amour in the inner corner because I just have to use it. So I'm just going to put some on in the back of my hand. This literally glows. It is so freaking good. It literally, you can't even see how pretty it is, but it literally glows in the light. And I love it. So I'm going to take the M507. And just tap a little bit into that. And then we're just going to pop that right in that inner corner. Oh my god. It is so freaking pretty. Just like that. That is so beautiful. I can't get over how pretty these are, honestly. She did an amazing job. These are without a doubt, hands down, my favorite liquid shadows that I've ever used. They're insane. So we have some highlighter. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what I'm thinking it is. So the way I usually use these more shimmery, glittery highlights is I'm going to dump some into the cap here. I am going to spray my face first. I like to use a tacky setting spray, so the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip is my favorite for this. I like to use a really nice tacky setting spray because it's going to help it stick so there's not glitter all over the face. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite brush, which is the M501. I'm also going to spritz that. And then I'm going to go right in to that powder and I'm just going to start applying this is very pretty so I'm just going to kind of tap it where I want it to be and then just start blending it out
that is so pretty i hope it is showing up and then i'm going to do it again on the other side i'm going to give that a nice spritz Ooh. and then i'm just going to start tapping that on and then just blending it out that is so freaking stunning I really hope it is showing up on camera because it is so beautiful. It's a really, it's a really hard to explain exactly how it is. It's like, it's a really pretty glow, but it's not... I don't know I guess it's just not the type of glow I'm used to but it is so beautiful it's a very special formula in my opinion because I've not really played with a formula like this before look how pretty It does give it a nice glow, but it gives it a sheen. That's what I want to. That's what. That's what I want to say. It gives it a sheen. It's like a glow from within sheen, and I think that it is really special. And I know that she does like a lot of like photography makeup and stuff like that, and I think that this would be so pretty. I if it's showing up on camera, cause my camera's crap. Um, if it's showing up on camera, I guarantee it looks freaking stunning. Because her stuff is more, like, photography-based and stuff like that. But it looks so beautiful and special in person as well. So. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So, that is all. My final thoughts are I'm buying so much more from this brand because... Her stuff is so special. Look at that glow. I know you can see it now. And it looks so beautiful. It's so clean and beautiful looking. And if you just scroll her Instagram, her makeup looks are so beautiful. The skin is always so fresh and the eyeshadow. And oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. So I highly recommend checking her out. I will have it linked in the description. I'll have her Instagram linked in the description as well. And I actually got the Twin Flames at Beautylish. So I will have those linked as well. So that is all for me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button before you leave. And leave me a comment below letting me know if you have tried anything from this brand. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.